Hey, Sunbeams, like, subscribe, and share. So, I was speaking with a friend earlier today, and there was a message like, normally, I do my yellow cars, which I don't know if you're new here. With the yellow cars, if you see a yellow car, you say what you're grateful for. I actually explained to my friend as to why I do the yellow cars. When I was at a leadership conference, back when I used to work at the hospital many moons ago, um, one of the speakers actually spoke on how we as individuals, we constantly just we get wrapped up in the mundane of everyday life and the fact that we forget why we do what we do we forget the fact that we have so many blessings that are right in front of us that we are so blind to see because of the fact that this is this is average you know this is basic there are people who cannot wake up today you know what i'm saying there are people who can't even get up out of their bed without somebody actually helping them you know what i'm saying so you have to remind yourself that these blessings even though they might seem minuscule to you it's not the fact that it's great if you constantly keep asking god to keep blessing you and you constantly acknowledging god's blessings in your life then you are aligning with God so he can bless you with more items and not even just items because sometimes it's not just material sometimes it's just actually being able to come across somebody who might be able to help boost your business or help you with that project that you've been working on that you you needed some type of a different perspective you have to keep yourself in alignment with God and that right there is kind of like it it was powerful to me because I, as I'm telling him this message and really the story like I'm gonna have to tell y'all the story but as I'm speaking the message to him it really was for me too God uses us in situations to show us that hey Life could be much worse, but let me show you the silver lining and what I'm about to bless you with. Let me show you that even though that you went. The fact that we have so many blessings. And like I said, it's not just material position, materials, but you could have someone who can help you in ways of hey, I can be a, an ally, you know, to help you get that promotion or help you to boost your business or help you to, in school or whatever you, whatever you're trying to, whatever goal you're trying to achieve, you know? So mind you, you know, the story is there was a little girl, right? The speaker, as he was telling us, he was a charge nurse and you know, there's this young little girl, I want to say no more than seven. She's in the hospital. Her parents abandoned her. Only person that was there was her grandmother, right? Now, mind you, she was actually, she had a terminal illness and she was, she was going to die. However, every time the charge nurse came in there, the girl was so happy she was always so elated to not just see him, but to see people come visit her, right? And mind you, he's caught up in his own emotions like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm tired. I've worked, you know, this long shift, da da da, -da whatever. But every time this little girl saw him, she was just so elated to see him. Even though he knew her situation, she, and she was going to die. She ended up dying eventually. God, you know, God rest her soul. But the fact that she chose to see the brighter side in that. And as a little girl, she looked towards something better. She's no longer in pain. And of course, you know, people will say, oh, well, that's her life. She wasn't able to experience. I mean, if you believe in reincarnation, you know, I think it was a lesson. Sometimes God uses people for lessons. 
to help you to understand I need you to see the bigger picture in that moment I saw the bigger picture there are times when you are faced with challenges and mind you that yellow car just be driving by <laughs> when you about to sit here and lose your mind you're about to lose your mind because it seemed like the world is crashing down on you and what happens you are trying to get yourself together. But when I tell you, that was one of those moments where I just, I honestly had to say, you know what? I'm going to continue to keep that in my spirit. When I see a yo car, I'm going to tell God what I'm grateful I'm going to tell God what I'm grateful for because I want to align myself with God. I want to be aligned with with my father my heavenly father so that way when i am trying to manifest everything that i'm asking for is in alignment with my purpose and with what's destined for me sometimes we work against ourselves because of course when we have things that are happening uh, there's a saying is it happening to you or is it happening for you i think that's what it is Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it happening to you or happening for you? Yeah. Mind you, a lot of things are happening. If you depending on how you look at it, some things are happening for you so that it can make a way for you to get where you're trying to go. Would you sit here saying, God, I want this mansion, I want this seven bedroom mansion with five bathrooms and four car garage? Sometimes you got to clear out all the extra stuff. Because you can't have what you see here talking about. This is what I want. And you got all this, this mess and calamity going on. So you have to be in alignment. And I just use the yellow cards to help me stay in high vibration. Okay. But this is all to say. I want you to see the silver lining. And what's going on. I hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed day, my loves. Send you lots of love. Hold on, wait. <laughs> y'all gotta match my heart. Send you lots of love, peace, and prosperity, my loves. Have a great day. Bye.